It was just after 11 this morning when residents heard shots coming from a laneway at the rear of Rodney Street off the Donegal Road. A number of people rushed to the scene and found the body of a man lying at the corner of the lane. His hands had been bound and his shoes removed. And all I could see was the blood. I saw his face but just, just a couldn't recognise him. Didn't know who he was or anything else. And, um, well, there it was. It's just, it's just terrible. Later, the IRA said they carried out the killing. A man called a Belfast newspaper and claimed that the dead man, Emmanuel Wilson, was a police informer. The Workers' Party say he was one of their election workers. Like all the thoughtless and mindless murders committed by the provisionals, I'm totally disgusted. I'm even more disgusted because I had known the young man. The fact that they're going to suggest for a moment to try to take away the young man's character. Uh, we are under no illusions about the reason that the provisionals murdered this young man today. Last night in the north of the city, a gunman opened fire on a UDR man and seriously wounded his elderly mother as they arrived at a church social at the St. Vincent de Paul parochial hall in Ligonil. Mrs. Evelyn Borland, although a Protestant, had attended socials there for many years. Her son Charles, who received an arm wound, regularly collected her. It's a distressing thought, certainly, and uh, if we're to have effects on the community relationship, it would be disastrous, be tragic, really, to, to think that there, would, that there are obviously people about who seem bent on trying to disrupt relations in the community. A few hours earlier, an RUC officer was shot dead as he entered the Antrim Road police station. 41-year-old Sergeant Robert Guthrie, who was married with two children, was hit in the head and neck. The latest attacks come only a short time after the RUC warned of an increase in Republican paramilitary violence as the marching season approaches.